I've already shown you how to use this panel to snap objects to a grid in editor view, but now I'm going to do it in runtime. So let's hit play. And as you can see, I have these blocks, and whenever I move them, they move according to the grid. So they always fit in. I can have even objects which are higher than the rest, some which are wider, and they always fit inside the grid. So let's take a look at how to make this happen. First thing we do is create an empty game object. Let's call it grid. And apply our grid script. We'll use rectangular grids. Set size z can be set to 0. And the rest 5 and 5. Should be good enough for now. Now create a plane. And let's rotate it slightly. And attach it to your grid. So what the plane does, it doesn't really do anything, it's just there for show. So let's make it grey. Yeah. And now for an extra challenge, we can also rotate the grid slightly. 45. 0, 45. To create some sort of isometric effect. Usually what you do instead uh, would be rotate the camera and leave the grid at 90 degrees or something, but let's just do it for an extra challenge. Now insert a few cubes. I've already, pre already prepared some with different size. And now we need our script. Create JavaScript and let's call it snapping units and open it. Okay, we don't need any of these. Instead, we want to, instead what we need is a variable of type grid. Let's also catch the transform. And now we need a few functions. First thing is awake. Then we need something to handle mouse input on mouse drag, which gets called every frame the mouse is being held down on a collider. And finally, a function to snap the bottom of the objects to the grid. Okay, first thing to do is cache our transform, perform a small sanity check. And if it succeeds, we need to align our objects and snap them to the bottom of the grid. Cache transform dot position equals calculate of z z. So let's fill this function in with fun functionality. So what I want to achieve is after our object has been rotated it needs to snap right to the grid. So first thing I need to do is convert the world position to grid position. Var grid position equals the grid dot world to grid of cached transform dot position. And the only thing we really want to change is the z coordinate. So grid position dot z equals minus one half times lossy scale dot z. So what I'm doing is I take half this position and set it as the center. And now I can return this result. Return the grid dot grid to world of grid position. So I'm not touching x and y coordinates at all, only the z coordinate and only in grid space. So let's save. Okay, now that you're done, we can take our script and apply it to all 
four cubes and hit play. Okay, I forgot something. We need to actually apply our grid. Okay, let's hit play now. And they all snap. But, as you can see, I can't do anything. I can't handle mouse and foot. So we need to take care of that as well. There's many ways to accomplish this, but I'm going to use a rather simple one. Cursor, screen, point, of type vector 3, equals new vector 3, using input dot mouse position dot x mouse position y and zero because we don't really care about zero about the z, z coordinate. So next thing we transform it to world space so cursor world point again type vector three equals camera dot main dot screen to world point of cursor screen point. So now we have our mouse position in world space and now we can set our object's position to the mouse position. Cached transform dot position dot x equals cursor world point dot x and the same for y and now we snap it to the grid. So I call the grid dot align transform cached transform. And now we finally finally we snap it to the bottom. Cached transform dot position dot z equals calculator offset z. Now hit save. Okay, let's hit play. And it works. Yep, that's it. So that's how you can make snapping, for example, in strategy games or in level editors. And it even works if the grid is sloped. So usually what you do is not slope the grid, but instead put the camera at an angle to create this effect. But I just showed you a worst case example. So if you can pull off this, you can pull off anything. So that's it for now. Goodbye. Have fun.